Right, okay, here's a great little challenge workout you can get going. Um, there's no excuses for this one because you don't need anything apart from your body weight um, and you only need a space about this big. What I would do on this one is set the timer, set your watch going. As soon as you start, it's going to be three rounds, three rounds of 100 reps. So you're going to total 300 repetitions. Start the watch at the beginning, stop it at the end, that's your time. Keep a note of it and then obviously you can try this workout a couple of times a week and just try and beat your time. The key is to obviously keep the variables the same. So as you're going to see in a moment, press ups. If you do press ups one time, do them exactly the same way. Once you can do the full 20 without stopping, maybe progress to the harder version from there. But you know, changing the variables throughout, you're obviously going to get a different time period on it. Uh, I'll post up at the bottom here what the exercises are, but I'll give you a quick demonstration of how you can do it and also how you can make them easier or you can make them harder. Right, okay, first exercise then is press-ups, 20 press-ups. Easier version is going to be a three-quarter press-up. So have, be on the knees, hook the feet, angle the legs backwards. The key on this one is not to go straight down. You want to literally pivot and rock on the knees. So drop forward, push away. Keep the tummy in nice and tight, push it away nice and hard. Harder than that is obviously a full press-up. So from there, tummy tight, take it down, push away. If you want to go even harder, do a floor press up. What you're going to do on this one is hands off at the bottom, squeeze the tummy in tight, brace, clench the bum, and come up nice and level. So, from the top, take it down, hands off, push up, drop down, push up. And the key with that one is don't let your head stay down there, and don't let your hips drop down there. You want everything to come up nice and level. So, you don't want to, as you come down there, you don't want to be like that. You want to lock in, push up nice and level. So press ups first. As soon as you've done the press ups, you're going to come up and you're going to go into 20 jump squats. If the knees aren't good or you're starting out, just do normal squats. So from there, sit hips back, push up. Try and get the bum low, uh, which will get the, get the bum muscle working quite a lot to push up. Another way of doing it is you can drop, touch the floor, push up, which makes sure that you do get low enough. Uh, if you want to progress that, you can take it into jump squats. So drop down, and then push up, through the bum, through the heels, a little bit more explosively, 20 of those. Right, as soon as you've done 20 jump squats or squats, you're going to go back up to the upper body, it's going to be 20 dips. You can use uh, whatever, the sofa, a chair, the stairs, something like that. This one, take a seat, hands each side, outside the hips, drop forward, and then bend the elbows, drop down, lock out. Keep those going for 20. Key with that one, don't shrug your shoulders up, keep them nice and relaxed. Easier is bent knee, harder, straight legs, even harder, one leg. But just try and lock out the arms at the top. Right, okay, as soon as you've done your 20 dips, you're gonna be up, and you're gonna go into 20 Spider-Man climbs. So for this one, full press up position, keep the tummy pulled in nice and tight, and you're going to pull the same side foot outside the same side hand. So place it, place it down as far as it will go. Get the whole foot down. Take it back. Next one. So you finish in the full press up position, but bend the knee, pull it forward as far as it will go, and place the whole foot down outside the same side hand. Okay, we're up to 80 reps. So we've got 20 to go. For this one, we're going to split it up. You're going to do 10 burpees or get ups. So from here for a burpee, bend the knees, put the hands down, jump it back, land nice and tight, jump it in, stand up again. Slightly easier version than that is a get up, for that one you put the hands down, you step back, you step back, in, in, push up tall from there. If you want to progress the burpee a little bit harder, you can put a jump at the top as you come up, or you can put a press up if you want at the bottom. So hands down, jump back, press up, in, jump up, that's one. You're going to do 10 of those. All right, so final 10 to make it up to the 100. Uh, as soon as you finish your burpees or get ups, you're going to come up and you're going to go into reverse lunges. So keep it upright. You're just going to drop the back knee down, keep all the weight on the front one, and just keep it moving from there. Drop down one, two, three. Try and get the knee right to the floor. If you want to make it a little bit harder, as you drop, push the arms up. If you want to make it even harder, just hold a weight at chest height, so a kettlebell, anything you like, dumbbell, medicine ball, or just grab a bag, a flower, a bottle of water, hold it at chest height, 
drop into lunges makes it a little bit harder. That's 100, ideally, don't take any rest, do it again, that's 200, do it again 300, stop the watch. Obviously you can rest at any time throughout the workout, but the watch is still running. So have a go, record your time, post it up, that's now you get on.